have an incident underway that has closed the northbound lanes of I-35. After two big rigs collided, we're going to talk to Alicia Inns in just a moment. So this is a major traffic alert. Again, you heard me say northbound I-35 is completely closed near FM 1431. So with that, let's head over to Alicia Inns to get some more information. All right, Alicia, I know we were just watching that live shot a few minutes ago, and it looks like they're in the process of cleaning out one of those rigs. Yeah, that's right, Mandy. Good morning. And that's the process that's going to take the most, the longest, I should say, here this morning that's going to keep the highway shut down for at least another hour, a couple hours or so as they clean up all the debris. Because take a look at this. One of the big rigs caught fire, and it looks like a skeleton. You can just see almost the bare bones of that big rig. And now crews are getting all the big equipment here to get it cleared out. They have to really break this thing down to get it cleared off the highway. They've got fire trucks hosing down. There's still some pieces that are smoking from this big rig. The call came in here about 2 45 this morning. As you can see, traffic being diverted along the frontage road, kind of creeping slowly by. Danny's going to pan down here and show you where this other big rig is right now. As you can see down there, they haven't even gotten to that part of the area yet to clean it up. So just keep that in mind. This is what we understand that two semis were involved. One caught fire uh, that was put out. EMS ended up taking one patient to Williamson County Seton Hospital, but we're not sure of that patient's status right now, whether or not that person is okay or not. One of the drivers refused any sort of treatment, but we have been told the I-35 will be shut down for at least until six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock at this point. They're still working to clean up debris on one of the trucks, and then they'll have to move to the other one and get that cleaned up as well. They have been bringing in a lot of equipment to try and help with this and get this flowing smoothly. But Mandy, I know as we get closer and closer to that rush hour time, it could be getting a bit more busy on the roads, especially out here as cars drive by. And you're right, Alicia, that's right during peak travel times. If we stay on this live shot, you can actually see how they have, uh, Alicia mentioned they're bringing out lots of equipment to clear this scene out. Take a look, they got a bobcat there that's actually breaking and shaking, trying to get that skeleton of that big rig completely off of I-35. So we're going to continue following this.